Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this glowing outline whopping logo reveal animation in After Effects. And it's very easy to create. You can make it procedurally. That means you can just change the logo and all the animations will already be applied. You can also save it as a preset. That means you can just simply drag and drop onto any logo you want and all the animations will be applied automatically. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I thumb Nafta Effects and let's first see how the preset works. So here I have this Nike logo, which is just a simple PNG logo with transparent background, nothing else. So I have this composition over here. Now I have saved the preset under this name. Now I can just simply drag and drop onto this. Now if I press play, you can see all the animations and effects are already applied and I don't have to do anything. So in this way, you can save this effect as a preset and you can apply it onto whatever logo you have. The download link for this preset is available on my Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and all the exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's see how to make this in After Effects. So here you can see I have this main composition and this logo inside this. So this is just a PNG file with transparent background and it's completely up to you. You can use whatever logo you want. I'm going to use this one. Now you can see that this is completely white and we can add some colors to it by simply applying four color gradient. Now this is optional because if you have a colored logo, then you don't have to do this. But since this is white, then we are going to add some colors to this. Now let's move these points closer so that these colors are a little bit bright. And if you want, you can play around with them. For example, I'm going to change this one to be like so here we have our logo. Now the next effect that we are going to apply is called find edges. So let's drag it onto this. Now you can see that it has given us the edges, but we want it to be inverted. So for that, we can just click on invert. Now here you can see we are able to see only the edges. Perfect. So after that, we can animate this by simply applying an effect called optics compensation optics composition and let's drag it onto this now if i increase this field of view you can see we are able to see the effect now we want it in the reverse direction so just check this out and we can animate it by simply adding a keyframe and the max value is 180 so let's add a keyframe for that now let's move somewhere around let's say two and a half seconds and i'm going to set this to zero now we can select the keyframes press f9 to easy is there let's go to the graph editor now you can change the graph to be speed graph if you have the value graph and let's tweak this further i want this to look a little bit like that so that we have this easing at the end like that so once you have this animation we are ready to add some glow to this so the glow is very easy let's search for glow and let's drag it onto this we are going to add a bunch of different copies to this so first let's play around with a couple of these settings so let's just lower this down so maybe let's set this to 0.9 and glow radius i'm going to increase this to let's say 80 or something let's keep it at 80 and the threshold i'm going to lower it down so that we have more concentrated glow like that now we are going to create another copy of it so just simply click and press ctrl d to duplicate this and on this one we are going to just increase the glow radius so let's search, set this to 243 and now again we can select this press ctrl d for this one we can set this to something like pre 730 or something let's duplicate this last time and i'm going to make this 1000 so that we have this extremely bright logo now the preview will be slow and if you want you can just change the preview settings so you can set this to quarter but this will give you like different results so if i press it now you can see we are getting a lot of colors but in fact we have a lot less so just for the preview purpose we can like keep it at quarter or maybe we can set this to half now once you're done with this we want our final logo to be revealed as well so for that we can search for another effect called cc composite and let's drag it on to this so now it will make the logo appear so we can play around with the opacity so let's add a keyframe press u and let's move it to somewhere around here and in the beginning i'm going to set this to zero so that this is not visible now if i press play you can see we have this logo reveal and at the end we have this final logo as well you can see that we are still able to see the glow and for that we can just add a keyframe for the glow intensity so let's select this press u and let's go to somewhere around here we can have a keyframe for glow intensity and let's go a little bit ahead let's press u and i'm going to set this to zero 
we have to do this for all the other layers but i think they are very dark so it won't matter perfect so here we have our reveal now still we have to get rid of this edges so for that we can go inside this and we have this option for blend with original so we can add a keyframe and let's go a little bit ahead and i'm going to set this to 100 now what this will do is it will fade it out like that but it will add the glow as well because we have this effect so we can add the effect for opacity as well so let's add a keyframe and let's go and i'm going to quickly set this to zero now it will make it completely black and we can quickly change this to normal so here we have this now it's very bright because we have all the other glow effects as well so we have to animate their glow intensity as well so let's add keyframe for them as here and let's press u and over here we can set this to zero let's go down let's add this and let's add one more and let's press u move these keyframes ahead and i'm going to set their value to zero as well now we will have this thing but we don't want this to be like bulge out or this way so what we can do is we can have our logo appear like a little bit after and let's move the blend later on as well like this now at this point we can have some glowing outline over here so for that we can search for another effect called cc light sweep and let's just simply drag it over here and i'm going to place this right after the find edges like this and it will give us this really nice effect so first i'm going to increase the intensity so you can see we have the sweep intensity and we can play around with the animation first so somewhere around here we can make it at this point so let's add a keyframe for center and at this point we can like make it go over here so that we have this nice sweep maybe we can delay it a little bit so that it comes a little bit late like that and let's make it a little bit faster and also we can increase the intensity and we can increase the width as well like that now all you have to do is just play around with the timing of the reveal so we can make it appear somewhere around here and maybe this is too fast so we can move it a little bit further away and at this point we can have our bottom reveal like that so now we are done with the animation and if i press play you can see we have this reveal and after that we have our final logo maybe we can move these little bit ahead so that this will stay a little longer like that and at this point we will have our final reveal perfect so here you can see we have created this animation and the best thing is that you can easily change the logo so if i go over here here i have this another logo all i have to do is just simply drag it over here maybe let's play around with a little bit of scale and if i go back and now if i press play you can see all of these animations are already applied and we don't have to do anything now there's one more thing you can see that this logo already has color so we don't need this so we can just hide it so that it will pick the colors that are naturally in the logo so once you have created this animation you can save it as a preset like i did so in order to save it as a preset all you have to do is let's simply close all of them up and once you're done with this all you have to do is just simply select all of them hold on the shift key and you can select all of them once you're done with this just go to animation and click on save animation preset now it will ask you where you want to save this so i'm going to save it inside this user preset so this is the path for it so then you can just go to the c drive then your user then documents adobe and your version of after effects under the user preset you can save it you can type whatever name you want so i'm i have already saved it over here just click on save and it will save this and if you're using mac then you can just simply search on online 
where you can save the preset and after that once you're done with this you can just simply go over here right click and click on refresh list and after that your preset will be saved and you can just simply search and it will appear in the search results you can just simply drag and drop onto whatever logo you have and all the animations will already be applied so this is how you can create these kind of animations and you can save it as a preset for future use and i hope you learned something from this one and the project files and the preset is available on my patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek i'll see you in the next one